Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble Acer Aspire V17 Nitro Black Edition and we will also change the thermal compound from the CPU and the GPU with liquid metal. Let's go! After only 20 minutes of stress testing, you can see a maximum temperature of 97 degree on the CPU and 96 degree on the GPU. Okay guys, first you have to remove all the screws that you see here. When you're ready with the bottom, open the laptop and with a credit card you have to remove this sewer plastic over here. Alright, we've removed the sewer plastic and now we have two screws here which we have to remove as well. Okay, now we have to open the body of the laptop. I recommend either the corner or the palm rest. And we will start from the middle. Okay, so we're ready to open on the laptop. Now we have to remove all the cables attached. Just removed the cable for the palm rest. Now we're removing the cable for the keyboard. Here we just removed the for part of the laptop. Okay, the next step is to disconnect the battery cable. Okay, disconnect the hard drive. Okay, it's time to remove the DVD. All you need is to push. Okay, it's time to disconnect the rest of the cables. Then disconnect this cable here. When you're ready, start disconnecting these two. The next step we have to remove the video signal cable. Ok, now we have to remove the remaining screws. Ok, we have to remove the remaining screws. Here, where the vent is. Another one is here. Ok, now we are ready to disconnect the wireless adapter which is located here. Ok, it's time to remove the motherboard. Slowly grab the left edge of the motherboard here and in the middle. And slowly pull.
Okay, now we have to clean the laptop from the dust. Okay, here is the motherboard. I didn't expect it to be that dusty. So now we'll continue removing the screws. Remove the cable here. Let's remove the bigger screws. Okay, now you can open up, open the fan and clean all, all the dust. So now very carefully we have to clean the old thermal paste and change it with the new one. Right here, here, this and this one. Ok folks, now we are going to replace the thermal compound on the CPU and on the GPU. Be careful with the liquid metal because it's thermally conductive and it may shortcut. Now that we've changed the thermal compound, we can start the reassembly of the laptop. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. Insert the vent cable. Okay, now it's time to place the motherboard. Ok, plug the power connector. Alright, uh, we will reattach the connectors on the left. Push back in the rest of the cables. Push the DVD back in. This little tab goes under the motherboard. Alright, plug back the wireless adapter.
route the wireless cable here, here and here. Attach this cable, then you can stick it the way it was. Alright, let's put back the hard drive. Alright, now we will connect the battery cable. Alright, so now we have to put the screws back on the motherboard. The black ones go here and here. And the silver cover ones go on the fence here. and here now we are ready to place the top now I have to reconnect the cables Alright, so now we have to push the top into the bottom. And we have to put the remaining two screws on the top here. Now we have to reattach the silver bar beginning with the bottom. Now put back all the screws, the big ones go here and here. Alright, the assembly is complete, let's fire this up. Alright, after 20 minutes of stress testing, the maximum temperature on the CPU is 95 degree and the maximum temperature on the GPU is 78 degree. Let's not forget that in realistic situations you will never get uh, this kind of temperatures. And if you want to see more videos like this, like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.